Hey everyone, it's Chris Alex. Decided to do the emoji makeup challenge. Thought it would be fun to pick a few emojis and do a skull version of them. This is the volcano one. I hope you enjoy it. Let's glue down those eyebrows and throw on a latex bald cap. Use Telesis Beta Bond Plus to glue it down. Trim any excess. Stipple latex on the edge to blend into the skin. And powder everything with Mayron Color Set Powder. Mayron Edge in White to sketch out the features of the skull. I'm using a reference from Enlightenment Volume 1 Tattoo Reference by Merrick Pollock. It's an awesome collection of photos. Use Mayron Edge in Black to block out the areas around the skull. I like to get rid of some of the open area early in the makeup to help me see the illusion. With the Mayron Paradise Paint Palette, use the Storm Cloud color for the base. I threw this in an airbrush to get a soft coverage and not cover up my lines too bad. Use the black out of the Mayron Palette and start to airbrush the shadows. Using this instead of Mayron Edge, since it's a softer black, and build up the shadows. Also blend the black area that we blocked out. This gives a better effect for the skull so it looks like it's going into darkness instead of abruptly ending. Some of the smaller shadow areas we're gonna do by hand. Grab a matte black eyeshadow and a small brush. Create soft outlines around the features. This will make those shadow points look more 3D. Shape the teeth and putting in some more depth. Switching over to Mayron Edge in black and a detail brush to add sharp lining to really get those teeth to pop. White Mayron Edge to brighten and highlight parts of the teeth. Going to protect all this work so far with some Skin Illustrator Blue Marble Sealer. Went back in with the black eyeshadow, this time with a softer brush for some blending. Mayron Palette, take the Beachberry color for the inner parts of the skull. This is the start of the lava effect. Put a little bit of white in the opening part of the eye socket. Set the eyelids with some of that Mayron Color Set Powder. Add a touch of white in the mouth where it's going to be brighter. Now Mayron Edge in black, airbrush those really rich dark shadows. And bringing it into the red areas too. Took a detail brush with black edge to line the skull. Use Mayron Edge in white for those really bright highlights throughout, not worrying too much about blending. With matte white eyeshadow, soften some of the highlight edges and add some softer spots all over. Spray some more Skin Illustrator Blue Marble Sealer. Taking the Mayron palette, Use the orange and create some softer highlight areas in the red space. Now for the UV fun. Took Norvina Electric Cake Liner in Electric Orange and start to paint the brightest areas of the glow and blending it out in a few spots. For the nasal cavity, just adding some dots and this will give the suggestion of the glow coming through using the color to really amp up the inner edges of the skull. And then put that same color into the airbrush and put in some soft areas of glow and clean up any areas that might be patchy. Added it to some outer spots. This is gonna give the illusion that the bone area is thinner and the light is radiating through the skull. Another reason why I love using the glowing skull photo references. There's some nuances that I definitely would not have added otherwise. More Blue Marble Sealer. Black Mayron Edge to clean up any overspray. Added more of the Electric Orange to my lips. Airbrushed some Black Mayron Edge and building up the black areas more. And up the contrast around the head where the glowing areas are. KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner in Trooper. 
put some thin line work around the eyes to get the openings in the socket to really stand out. Add some more stark highlights with Mehron Edge in white. These last details will really help it pop. More of the Nervina electric cake liners, this time with electric yellow. Add it to the middle areas of the mouth and in highlight areas. Applying this more with a dabbing motion than as opposed to sweeping it across. This will give it better texture and also keep it from looking streaky. Back to the electric orange, pick a few places for the lava to ooze out of. Add the electric yellow in the middle to give it a brighter effect. Again, dabbing this on. And once you're happy with the pops of yellow, you're done. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.